Howdy folks, Tetsu here, down in lower tiers where the power's low, but the battles are fierce. And today I'll be continuing my self-proclaimed quest to archive all the battles during the first 7U tournament, from which thereby I hope to bring light to the tier and possibly help it grow. So, join me as we head down to the LB and watch those who gain their first elimination in the first two rounds of the top bracket. Our combatants kicking things off this time are NatBoomer21 against Flore. NatBoomer21 lost to Snack in round 1, where Flore fell before Gastelis in round 2. Regardless, with one elimination each, they will be battling it out to stay in the tournament running. Who continues on, and who gets the boot? Either way, their skills should be witnessed here today by both myself and you, the viewer. If you happen to enjoy the video, I humbly request you click that like button. Also, subscribe and click that bell if you want to be notified for later uploads. Working together, we can bring more attention to this fascinating metagame. With all that said, let's begin. Alright, match one, game one. Let's play Lead Metagame! Meowth coming from Big Cough once again and Tentacle for Flore. Big Cough did, in their round one match with Snack, actually use Pink Lemonade. It seems like they also keep the same naming scheme. Meowth gets put to sleep by Flore's Ivysaur. Golbat comes in. Are we going to see a wing attack? That we do. And it does quite a bit of damage as Body Slam comes in from Flore. No paralysis. Another wing attack hits the incoming Rhyhorn. And Mega Drain goes off, healing Golbat for a little. And Rhyhorn goes for a substitute. And then a Rock Slide. Yes, there we go. Mega Drain once again as Rhyhorn is sacked. Charmeleon for Flore. Rhyhorn, or Exquisite Corpse in this case, takes a Fire Spin on the switch in as Flore switches to Shelter. Springtime in New York, the Gloom. Is switched in. Shelter switch to Charmeleon on a PT switch. Fire spin. Rhyhorn being switched in. Right now, it's more of just a PT switching game by the look of it. Blizzard's going to hit Gloom for quite a bit of damage. Not enough for a KO next turn, though, it looks like. Sleep Powder on the Charmeleon on Flore. Two times attack as Tentacle comes in, and Springtime in New York goes down. Midnight Heart, the Hitmonchan, finishes off Tentacool, and Shelter is switched in. Seismic Toss from Hitmonchan, and Explosion takes out Midnight Heart. Don't be nice to switched in versus Flore's Meowth as it goes for a substitute. Submission comes out. Yeah, the moves don't seem much different from last time, actually. It looks like they kept the same uh, loadout in the Nat Boomer's case. And Flore used Bubble Beam and now is down. Uh, right now, this is looking like Big Cough's game right here. Wing Attack comes in to the Sleeping Charmeleon switch in for Ivysaur. Hyper Bane goes out from going down. And one more Hyper Bane finishes it off. No recharge time due to the KO, and Flore forfeits the first match. On to game two. Let's play Lead Metagame! Once again, Meowth coming from Nat Boomer and Charmeleon is Flore's switch this time. Counter on the Body Slam! Very, very nice. Still kind of sad that Nat is not using Slash, but oh well. Charmeleon winds up trying to use Fire Spin. Exquisite Corpse just takes it out casually as Ivysaur comes in. Going down is once again put to sleep. Or was it Charmeleon last time? Hmm. With Golbat asleep, Charmeleon is more or less in the zone. However, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Nat Boomer set up in front of a tentacle. Paral paralyzed or not, that is a risky venture for sure. Springtime of New York coming in to Ivysaur as it switched for Rhyhorn. Double Edge. This is currently the Ivysaur's game to lose at this point. Sleep Powder on the Ivysaur. And Flore is... Oh, Acid coming from Springtime in New York. Yes, this is another move that was uh, Nat Boomer's special right here. Ivysaur goes down. 
Meowth coming in for Flory and finishes off Springtime in New York. Midnight Horror is switched in. Slash coming from Meowth. And Submission bodies Meowth. Leading to a 2-3 Mon. This is not looking good for Flore. Mega Drain from Beedrill. Another Body Slam. No Paralysis. Hyper Beam. Midnight Heart is taken down. Exquisite Corpse. Oh, and a Crit Mega Drain. Rock Slide. And it lives on 1 HP! Beedrill manages to live on 1 HP with going down asleep. It woke up. Hyper Beam misses. Wing Attack comes in and takes out Beedrill, but Voltorb is in the back, completely healthy. Thunderbolt crits, and Golbag goes down! It is a one-in-one -one game, ladies and gentlemen. Very well done, very well done. A l that was massively <laughs> in Nat's favor, but that went very well for Flory. Good job. All right, game three. Let's play Lead Meta Game. Meowth once again coming from Nap as Tentacle is used this time for Flore. Hydro Pump does a ton of damage. And Springtime of New York is going to be switched in. Blizzard Hydro Pump combo. Springtime of in New York is frozen. As Tentacle is desperately trying to get rid of it. There we go. Midnight Heart is switched in, but that's not going to be enough to take out Tentacool. And a massive... And it crits! Hydro Pump crits! Midnight Heart taking it out. Hyper Beam going from going down. Rhyhorn switched in, and he goes for a substitute after being Mega Drained. Rock Slide, there we go. A quick switch to Tentacool as Mega Drain once again comes out, and Tentacle's going to be sacked. Uh, no, Charmeleon's going to be coming in as Wing Attack is sent in by Big Cough. Body Slam into the sacked Meowth. Exquisite Corpse going out. And to Tentacle, who is sacked. This is looking a bit more one sided in Flore's favor. Ivysaur goes for Sleep Powder, it does not manage it. Wing attack on the incoming Rhyhorn from going down, and Mega Drain finishes it off. Hitmonchan being switched in for Flore. Don't be nice going as agility on Hitmonchan sets it up. Body slam, no paralysis. Reflect going for. Oh, but it does not matter. Paralysis and crit from Body Slam has Don't Be Nice going down. And speaking of going down, going down is switched in. They do a wing attack, does a bit of damage, but Hitmonchan is currently... Oh, Paralysis on going down, Confuse Ray coming out, on to Hitmonchan. Quick switch to Meowth by Flore, who takes a wing attack. And with only with Golbat going down, Rhyhorn's the only Mon Nate has, and this is... Yeah, Meowth does not get knocked out, and Exquisite Corpse goes down. Woo! Flore managed to pull a 2 and one victory. So, what did we learn? One of the biggest things I can take from this match is the lesson on knowing your move pools. I've talked about ranges a few times, and each attack move Amon knows has such. While many of the moves Nat Boomer 21 used were fun picks, they were far from the most optimal. The best example is Golbat using Wing Attack. In Gen 1, the move has a base power of 35 and is 100% accurate. With that in mind, while accounting for Stab, Wing Attack is far from a decent move. The only real upside one can find for its use would be it hits Ivy, a a tad bit harder than Double Edge. Not by much either, with Wing Attack doing t between 27.2 to 32.1%, while Double Edge deals between 25.6 to 30.3%. This minor upside is countered by its use as a neutral move, with most mons taking far less from it. As an example, Charmeleon, who normally hit for 35.5 to 41.9% by double edge, only takes 18.8 to 22.4% from wing attack. Something else we can talk about is knowing your gen's mechanics. From generation to generation, certain things in the game's code need to be studied if one wishes to compete seriously. A good example of this is Body Slam as a stab move compared to Slash. Normally, Body Slam with its base 
power of 85 would be better in most gens simply due to damage. Sure, slash crits a bit more often in those games, but the base power along with para chance is pretty good. Gen 1 though, slash is far better mainly due to crits being based off base speed. With Meow's poultry attack stat of 45 is pretty bad, slash helps compensate for this with being a near guaranteed crit move on it. 90 base speed is quite good for that. Last thing I'd like to touch up on is poison as an attacking type. It's bad. With two of the staple picks being po part poison and another common pick being so as well, poison moves are just terrible even all the way down here. With the match over, Natboomer21 is officially eliminated from the first 7U tournament, while Flore will be continuing on in the LB trying to stay in the tournament running. In these next two rounds that we're going to be observing, things are going to be hardcore as players are trying to stay afloat. If you happen to have found this video interesting, why not join in on the fun? I've got all the necessary links down in the description, from the Discord to the Resource Hub. Hope to see you there, and until next time everybody, Take care. Bye.